We found the weapons of mass destruction. Uh, you know, we found biological laboratories. Everybody knows that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. I have reason, every reason to believe that the intelligence that we were operating off was, uh, was correct. No question we have said that Saddam Hussein possesses biological and chemical weapons. We know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad and, and uh, east, west, south, and north. So, some and all this will be made clear in the course uh, of the operation for whatever duration it takes. Are you confident that you'll also find weapons of mass destruction? I believe we will find evidence of the programs of chemical and biological weapons, yes. How about the actual weapons? Well, I just don't know. Let's wait and see what uh, the team that's Actions over there. Actions continue with our new exploitation teams that have been brought in. Uh, and, uh, and that uh, we will in fact find uh, uh, weapons or, or evidence of weapons programs that are, are conclusive. It is somewhat puzzling, I think, that you can have 100% certainty about the weapons of mass destruction's existence and zero certainty about where they are. Do you agree? And does it matter whether or not you well, find you might those ask weapons? the Prime Minister that I, we won't be proven wrong. This is a process that takes some time and uh, it will ebb and flow. One thing we know is that he had a weapons program. I don't know anybody that I can think of who has contended that the Iraqis had nuclear weapons. We believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. But on the specific issue of weapons of mass destruction, it's going to take time and we're going to have to be patient. Over time, the truth will come out. Uh, now, it's going to take time to find anything because they've had... They, they've... People will find that uh, we presented a solid case, a case that uh, is there and was there and will remain there. So it's going to take a period of time to find the people. I don't think we'll discover anything myself. I still thought that three and a half months for new inspections was a rather short time before cooling away. And especially when we now see that they, they say, the U.S. government is saying that, look, you have to have a bit of patience. You know, these things take time. I, I, I believe that... Uh, uh, we, we will find the truth, and the truth is he, he, he was developing a, a program for weapons of mass destruction. I think what will happen is we'll discover people who will tell us where to go find it. You're not going to find it simply in a house-to-house -house search. You're going to find it when people start to talk to you. It, it is not like a treasure hunt where you just run around looking everywhere hoping you find something. I just don't think that's going to happen. The inspectors didn't find anything, and I, I doubt that we will. The, are people going to find out the truth, and the truth will say that this intelligence is good intelligence, no doubt in my mind. What we will do is find the people who will tell us. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it, and, and uh, that's just a fact. He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbors. We are able to keep arms from him. His military forces have not been rebuilt. Is U.S. credibility on the line over uh, weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that means.